This question is asking us to find the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple of 12 and 8. So we'll start with the highest common factor. So what we're going to do is we're going to list the factors of 12. So 12 can be made by 1 times 12, 2 times 6, or 3 times 4. 8, we can have 1 times 8, or 2 times 4. So the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. And the factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, and 8. So the highest common factor, the highest number in both of these, is 4. So the HCF, the highest common factor, is 4. The lowest common multiple, that's the lowest number in both of their times tables. So the 12 times table goes 12, 2 times 12 is 24. 36 and so on. The 8 times table, 8, 16, 24, 32 and so on. So the lowest number in both the times tables, 24. So the lowest common multiple is 24. So this method is good when we've got small numbers. However, when we've got bigger numbers, it's easier to break the numbers down to their prime factors in order to work it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to break 144 and 100 down to their prime factors. So we'll start by doing that. So we've got 144 and 100 and we're going to break them down until we've only got prime numbers left at the end. So 2 times 72 2 is prime, 2 times 36, 2 again is prime, go 2 again, 2 times 18, 2 times 9, and 9 is 3 times 3. 100, we've got 2 times 50, 2 times 25, and 25 is 5 squared. Okay, so we've got these two numbers broken down to their prime factors. So 144 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. And 100 is 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. Okay, so we're going to use this now to identify the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a Venn diagram. See, not perfectly drawn. We're going to have 144 in this one and 100 in this one. So the numbers that are prime factors of them both are going to go in the middle. So they've both got a 2, so that goes in the middle, and another 2. That goes in the They've both got 2 and 2, that goes in the middle. Now 144 has also got 2, 2, 3 and 3. So 2, 2, 3 and 3. And 100 has got 5 and 5. Okay, now we can work out the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple. So the highest common factor, the common ones, are the ones in the middle. So what's common to them both? Highest common factor. What's common to them both? 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is the highest common factor, and that is 4. Now the lowest common multiple is all of the numbers times together. Lowest common multiple. So we've got 
all of these numbers times together. So we've got 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 2 times 5 times 5. Times five. Now, this circle here makes 144. So it's probably easier just to write 144 times the two fives that are left, times 5 times 5. 144 times 5 times 5. You might need a calculator to work that one out. Um, 3600. 3,600 is the answer. Uh, pause the video and see if you can do this one for yourself, and then I'm going to go through the answers in a minute. Okay, so the first step was to break the two numbers down to the products of their prime factors. So we had 72, which is two 36s. 36 is two 18s. 18 is two nines. And nine is three times three. All of these are prime numbers. Can't break them down anymore, that makes them prime. 96. 2 times 48, 2 times 24, 2 times 12, 2 times 6, and 2 times 3. So then we write them out. So 72, written as a product of its prime factors, 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. And 96, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, times 3. Then, you're going to draw the Venn diagram, 72, 96. So look at the common ones, we've got 2, Another two, another two, and also a three. So what's left on 72? Just three. What's left on 96? We've got two twos. So highest common factor is the ones in the middle. So we've got two times two times 2 times 3, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 threes are 24. And the lowest common multiple, all of the numbers times together, so we've got 96, all of this, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 makes 96, times 3. So I'll put 96 times 3, and again, might need to use a calculator, it's 288.